reporting to you live here from the Bentway for the 2023-2024 Polar Boy Skate. It's live from last week episode 158. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow Jay Walkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So first of all, to go visit my Lola. Hey Lola, it's JJ coming here at your site to do my monthly visit. Just letting you know that the family all got together at 52 for Christmas Eve. And that we had a good time with you looking over us. So Lola V, continue to pray for us and guide us in our everyday lives. And I just wanted to say, we love you, we miss you, and bye for now, Lola V. And today in Canada is Boxing Day. A day where I break out my Manny Pacquiao hoodie, just like previous years past. Pretend I'm putting on some boxing gloves, throwing punches here and there inside the mini. But honestly, today, people are shopping for deals with traffic at the malls being at an all-time high, especially like at the Scarborough Town Center where they have some parking lots with no spots left. Anyways, after a quick post-night shift nap, I made my way to several stores in the Scarborough area for potential Boxing Day deals where the stores, as you guys can see here, were pretty packed. And me finding this pretty decent deal on a couple of trackers at my local Best Buy. And speaking of this Best Buy in particular, where a funny thing had happened, and you guys can see the staff wearing their blue Best Buy uniforms, guess who, while wearing their blue Manny Pacquiao hoodie, got asked a question by a customer who thought I worked here. But anyways guys, recapping my night shift that I had last night, Recalling when I said this last week, as I go in for one Christmas night shift, hoping to do and surprise some of my coworkers dressing up as Santa and handing out gifts to the night shift staff working Christmas night, good old Santa Claus actually made a visit to the unit I was working at last night with some of my colleagues really enjoying the Christmas gifts that they got on Christmas night. Oh my god. <laughs> Axa, oh, Merry thanks. Christmas, Mark Axa. Thank you. <laughs> Come here. Oh my. Oh, oh Merry Christmas, Miss Gala. A Merry Christmas. Oh my God. Oh, my. <laughs> Here you go, man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Kate. It's <laughs> oh, a Kate. Oh. Merry Christmas, Kate. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so cute. Thanks. Santa. Santa. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. I'm so happy to work with Santa. <laughs> yes. But yeah, guys, it's time to head home to wake up the wife before her night shift on my day off. And so I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. So throwing back to my off day last night, where I got in just before midnight, my last purchase of Boxing Day 2023. Going to this place that I went to most recently, a little while ago. Getting a buy one, get one free pizza offer at 2 for 1. Ooh, 2 for 1 Tuesdays, aka Boxing Day Special. Well, not really a Boxing Day Special per se, but since Boxing Day landed on a Tuesday this year, I took advantage of their Tuesday BOGO 2 for 1 pizza special. But anyways, today I opened up a Christmas present that the sister got us, setting up this cute nativity scene. And with Christmas happening just a couple of days ago, we can officially add the newly born Jesus to this scene. But yeah guys, before I go into work again for my first of a scheduled two night shifts tonight, we just have a quick birthday shout out to a beach volleyball friend of mine who I've known for years playing alongside with him on the beaches of Ash Bridges. This birthday shout out goes out to you Ravi. Happy birthday Ravi. I'm hoping that at this time you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday 
this year. After coming home to take a decent post-night shift nap, I decided to reflect upon my travels in late November slash early December to Hawaii. Now that a month has already passed since we visited there, and watch a little documentary about the history of these Hawaiian islands in between my night shifts, learning about the different geography maps, and other things that I never knew before. But yeah guys, as I chill in the living room, waiting to go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of our dear friends who we visited in Hamilton not too long ago and who has made many upon many cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Din. Happy birthday, Din. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So after I got out of work this morning, in the parking garage where the mini was, I came to encounter this little cute critter, which I was able to keep my eye out on to entertain me after my shift. But once it spotted me being a little bit of a paparazzi, it seemed like I lost it for a moment, having scurried away finding another safe haven from people like me. And speaking of encounters with wild animals in the GTA, just like I've seen, witnessed, and watched them in the past, the soaring birds outside my window at the condo were putting on yet another air show for me to appreciate. Anyways, after a poor post-shift nap today, in the middle of doing some New Year's Eve non-alcoholic sparkling wine bottle shopping, the hospital had called me to come into work for another night shift tonight. Since we're short-staffed, yet again. So guys, I guess I'm on my way to go in for my third night shift in a row. And while walking back home, I'll just tell you guys that I'll see y'all again tomorrow. So post shift, recalling that I got this meal voucher for working Christmas night, I went to the Aroma at the food court at the hospital to try something I remember getting several years back around the same time during the holidays. It's bomb. It's bomb. I definitely recommend this soup. I used up all the $15 that I had left on this voucher that I had to get a chocolate almond croissant and the famous lentil soup that they had over here selling at Aroma to take home to the wife to try to make her feel better. And this is because over the past several days, she's been staying inside the bedroom trying to isolate herself from me, feeling really, really under the weather. And after passing by the local shoppers to get the wife some multivitamins earlier, then heading home to enjoy this chocolate almond croissant and sleep in the den as to not wake up the wife trying to recover from her illness, although pretty tired, I struggled with getting in a nice decent post-night shift nap. But once I woke up, I was able to reheat my lentil soup. I divided some soup for the wife and reacted just like I did when I first tried this soup from Aroma. I then went on an errand to Foodie World to buy the wife some soup dumplings that she was craving before going to my Ate Shah's place too. Well, throwing back to this episode, I eventually made my way to the Saga home to pick up a package for my Ate Shah, as you guys can see here delivered this package that was way, way overdue. This year I'm so happy after one dozen years. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. You're the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Tita Chi, Jersey, the package Mission accomplished. has finally arrived. <laughs> and afterwards, to wrap up the night, I headed to Fairview Mall to their St. Louis bar and grill here to reunite with a couple of friends that I haven't met up with in a while for an ICU recruiting meeting with the final seconds of a crucial football game going on on the big screen. I think it's another passing play. Oh! No! Just kidding guys, I was just reuniting with some of my ICU brotherhood peeps to catch up with them and their lives outside of the ICU. After these stories, never, man. Yo, ICU Brotherhood. 
But anyways, before I go home, to finish off this one single night that I have well off, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends who is one of the biggest Brett Laurie fans out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Carla. Happy birthday, Carla. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my white sick friends who I remember organizing some CA events in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jeremy. Happy birthday, Jeremy. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to the sister-in-law who is one of the best people to ask to pop a bottle of champagne with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Caroline. Happy birthday, Caroline. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So this morning, after getting a nice sleep last night, catching up a little bit on the rest that I've missed out on over the past week, I headed over to the St. Maria Goretti Church for Sunday morning Mass, before going shopping for a little bit more New Year's Eve decorations, to bring into work for my night shift later on tonight. I then headed over to the Bentway area of Toronto, along with making some winter wear clothing donations that I had in my bag that I brought right here to, for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode months ago, and much like the 2023 New Year's Day polar bear dip that I participated in earlier this year, do in the cold a charity skating session, I got down to participate in this year's 2023-2024 Toronto Polar Bear Skate. And that was so much fun earlier, guys! As well as other things that were pretty cool while I was here, was this surprise experience at the Hop Valley Beer Fender booth. Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> Thank you. Mysterious hand out of the bushes. That's cool. Where I also got to see a third person point of view of somebody else's experience. <laughs> Meeting one of my favorite sportcasters from back in the day while they were filming here. Yo, at the Bentway, running into reporter Rob Lett. Boom, everywhere. City news, everywhere as well as meeting a new friend who shot some behind the scenes footage for this episode. Yo guys, special shout outs to my behind the scenes videographer, Trudy. He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. They're all crazy. <laughs> Anyways, as I headed back to the condo to rest up for my night shift later on tonight, I got word from the wife that our fridge slash freezer wasn't working and had broken down. So, when I got back to the condo, I saw the wife cooking all the defrosted food that our fridge slash freezer couldn't keep frozen. But guys, there was a blessing in disguise throughout all this, as the wife made some garlic shrimp that reminded me of the times we ate at Giovanni's shrimp truck back at our times in Hawaii. Which we also decided to top off on some garlic toast. And boy oh boy, this new dish that she created tastes absolutely spectacular put it on the list 
But yeah, after one single day off and before going back to work tonight, breaking out that traditional gold top hat that I use many upon many times on special occasions in the past, including my New Year's Eve celebrations from a couple years back, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my indoor volleyball friends who I've played alongside with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Lizbeth. Happy birthday, Lizbeth. And we've also got a birthday shout out to a legendary FGAR friend of mine who I'm remembering hanging out with during my university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Aaron. Happy birthday, Aaron. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So first of all, I wanted to wish all y'all out there a Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. But to be honest, 2024 hasn't really gotten us off to a great start. Where last night we had my in-laws pay a visit with the father-in-law inspecting our fridge, bringing the news to us that we have to get it replaced. 2004. 20 years old. Oh, not bad. Time for a new one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which meant that this morning when I got home from work, looking at all the food in the fridge as well as in the freezer that might not be good no more, plus the food that we have out on the table in room temperature. Now, I had made it a mission of mine to try to eat it all for breakfast or at least as much as I could. Also, post shift while trying to start up the mini, Guess who decided to try to make their best impression of a pirate? Having their left headlight be malfunctional. I can already tell it's gonna be a pretty expensive 2024 already. But moving on, on to the night shift last night. Where prior to it, I was stuffing some balloons with some homemade confetti ready to take them to work. My coworker Gomes and I decorated as well as blew up some balloons in the break room to get the place ready and festive enough to celebrate New Year's Eve at the hospital. But before the clock stroke midnight, I thought of taking a couple of the balloons that we blew up, as well as a bottle of non-alcoholic bubbly, hustling down the stairway of the hospital to our sister unit on the south side to share some of our celebratory New Year's Eve decorations with those guys. Sweet. This is from me. So you guys can chill that. Uh, put some ice in here, and then you can chill that. Oh, that looks so cute. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Stanley, Happy New Year! Happy New Year, man! <laughs> then, after running back up the stairs to go back to my original unit, this is how we celebrated our New Year's Eve going into 2024 this year. And guys, as I say goodbye to my gold New Year's celebration hat for another year, we'll quickly go over my yearly tradition of setting New Year's goals each and every year. So in 2023, out of this extensive list, only able to complete not just one goal, I want to do a cheers to the wife. After more than five years of hard work, overtime, and several years of saving, I just wanted to say, Today, you paid off the mortgage for the condo! Woo! 
We are now mortgage free! <laughs> we did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Or just two of my 2023 goals to see how much progress I'll hopefully be making at the end of 2023. But only three goals of the year that I wanted to achieve. <laughs> This year for 2024, we're going to be ambitious and try for a record-setting 24 New Year's goals. Which include, in no particular order, catch myself when I'm excessively browsing on Facebook and use that time on a language learning app instead, take one cold shower every month, do an average of 20 push-ups every day, use my Planet Fitness membership more by going there and working out at least twice a month, Donate at least one article of clothing each month. Do a monthly clean of the condo. Go on a 2024 road trip. Use my tennis ball machine for the first time since the pandemic. Go down to the beach and play beach volleyball at least once each month. Go on a trip to practice my Spanish overseas. Go on a bucket list trip to a place that I've always wanted to go to but never have been before. Utilize my Science Center membership at least four times this year. Use at least five of my gifted gift cards that I've received over the years. Attend an official K-pop dance class. Sign up for a 5k race and train to run a competitive time. Keep my mahjong skills up by playing relatives slash parents once every couple of months. Go rock climbing, touching at least the top of two walls, then rappelling down. Snack less on junk and eat more veggies. Do 10 stand-up sit-ups every day. Learn at least three new skills. Go to bed once I start feeling sleepy. Run a beer mile. Be able to touch my toes while stretching. And play more basketball than I did in 2023. So here's to hoping that this will inspire you to make some 2024 goals of your own. And that I'll be able to finish more than I had set out in 2023. But yeah guys, before I finally go in tonight for my last of my set of doing 8 shifts in the span of 11 days, celebrating with New Year's decorations just like I did this morning. <laughs> and one, two, three, cheese. We'll wrap up this week's busy Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.